Nucleic acid test is done to test for the presence of primary alcohols and secondary alcohols. The test reagent that's chromic acid. I have taken a few drops of that reagent in this test tube. Is a yellow brown liquid. This test reagent, when you add it to a compound which has either a primary alcohol or a secondary alcoholic functional group, gets reduced to the green blue chromic ion. If it does not get reduced to green blue chromic ion, then we know that the test compound is not a primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol. So let us see how this test is done and observe the test results. First you want to take 1 milliliter of acetone in a test tube. So add a milliliter of acetone and then to this you want to add two drops of your test compound. First I am going to test one butanol. Add two drops of the test compound, mix it and then to this we will add the chromic acid test reagent. two drops of the chromic acid test reagent and mix the two and notice what happens to this test tube contents. You notice that there is a nice opaque blue green precipitate. This was our test reagent. This is the test tube which has the test compound 1-butanol which is a primary alcohol. So the appearance of the blue-green opaque precipitate within a few seconds after adding the chromic acid test reagent indicates a positive test result or in other words it says that the compound I tested is either a primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol. Since we know what I used, I used one butanol which happens to be a primary alcohol that should give a positive test result and indeed we did get a positive test result. Now let us do the test with a secondary alcohol to butanol. We take one milliliter of acetone as before And to this, I am going to add two drops of my test compound to butanol. Mix the two. And then we will add two drops of the chromic acid test reagent. Again, notice that we got a blue-green opaque precipitate in this test tube. Let us compare chromic acid test reagent. Chromic acid when treated with the alcohol to butanol, which happens to be a secondary alcohol. The yellow-brown color disappeared. 
giving us a blue green opaque precipitate so this also is a positive test result and we expected to butanol to give us a positive test result i am going to now test t butanol t butanol is a tertiary alcohol so let us repeat the procedure by taking 1 ml of acetone adding to it two drops of the test compound mix the two and then we will add two drops of our reagent chromic acid let us mix it what happened we noticed that you don't get a blue green precipitate in fact this is concentrated reagent which is yellow brown in color and when we add it to our test compound here it is still yellow brown it may look a little dilute that is because we have added 1 ml of acetone to this and the test compound and you notice that there was no blue green precipitate appearing in this test tube which had a tertiary alcohol thus indicating that tertiary alcohols do not react with chromic acid so this is a negative test result let us compare the test results we got for one butanol which is a primary alcohol to that of t butanol which is a tertiary alcohol one butanol gets oxidized we get blue green precipitate of chromic ion t butanol does not react we get an yellow orange solution so positive test result negative test result this is how chromic acid test is done